Welcome to the AGM How to Collimate a Clip-On video. Let's dive in. Begin by long pressing the menu button to bring up the full settings menu and prepare for the collimation process. Now that the menu is activated, navigate to the function settings menu. Since the thermal is placed in front of your day optic, the reticle may cover portions of the menu, so you may need to shift your view slightly to clearly see each option. Once you have arrived at the function settings menu, activate it. Now activate the image alignment menu to sync the thermal with the day optic. In here, you have the option of selecting a calibration profile, which lets you tailor the clip-on to your specific setup. You can set different profiles for different zero ranges and for different firearms allowing quick changes. If you are using a bell housing adapter to mount the thermal, Activate the reference line to ensure that your thermal is level. Next, resize the menu to match the zoom level of your optic. You will need to do this to fit the menu into the day optics field of view. Adjust the menu size until it fits your optic properly. You can zoom on the thermal screen using the magnification ring on your optic to adjust the image. This ratio will depend on the type of scope you are using and your preferences. It will be different for LPVO scopes versus long-range scopes. Now navigate to your X and Y axis adjustments to see a complete sight picture and take your first shot. Our shot was high and you can see the new impact above the target impact we were aiming at. To adjust the thermal image, we will navigate to the freeze screen feature. Once we have our reticle lined up on the target aim point, we will freeze the screen which allows us to adjust the thermal image without maintaining a hold on the target point. To make the adjustment, we will now go back into the X and Y menu and shift the thermal screen to align with the day optic reticle. We want to move the impact point on the screen to match the aim point on the reticle. Once we have aligned the impact point on the screen with the reticle, we will save the screen position. Next, navigate to the freeze screen icon and turn the feature off. Now, hop back into the XY alignment menu so you can see a clear sight picture and take a few follow up shots to check your zero. If you are not satisfied with your group, repeat the freeze screen zeroing process until you are. If the group looks good, exit the zeroing menu and return to the thermal screen. Your thermal clip-on is now collimated to your daytime optic. Thanks for choosing AGM and happy hunting.